So one of, one of the control methods that you will bump into around the world and something we've been doing for New Zealand is um, trying to breed bees that are resistant to Varroa. And the first time we did this, we used classical breeding methods, which was, is you have to catch queen, virgin queens and drones and doing artificial insemination, which is a much smaller glove than if you're using it for dairy cow at least. Um, very time consuming to do, um, but we've show, we could show from New Zealand at least, that you could select colonies where Varroa can't survive in it. That for these colonies, if you want to test them, you have to keep getting Varroa and putting them into the colony. The problem with it is it's very expensive to do. And um, at the time, it was the only tools we had and it was the way to go. What impact did it have on Varroa in New Zealand? Uh, probably not much because the queens produced from a program like that are so expensive and they require a lot of inbreeding so their performance aren't really not that good but shows you what you can do um, there's also we've just had funding from Horticulture Australia Limited to use a more modern approach and what this is is to look for the genes that confer resistance. And when we got funding in the application, we said, well, there is one gene out there already that's been identified in a case trial in a laboratory that has been suggested might possibly confer some benefit for Varroa. And we said, we'll come and test that one. And with the assumption that we don't think that'll be the answer, but we may find somebody will publish another gene later on which we can add into it, and you can gradually build them in until you have a bee that's resistant, completely resistant to fraud. So we set up colonies. We found queens in New Zealand that had two sets of those genes, and we compared varroa levels in colonies with two sets of those genes versus none of them, neither of them. Not expecting to see any effect, but it worked out that the colonies were headed by queens with two sets of those genes had 30% less varroa than the untre than the ones that we hadn't selected. Which is actually better than it looks because you don't have to, when you're controlling varroa, you only have to re re reproduce, take varroa out of the system faster than which the varroa can reproduce. As soon as you go past that point, it for varroa disappears on you. 30% is getting close. So we were really surprised by the effect. And then, just using that, there's some things we didn't do. We didn't control matings. So this, this gene, which is probably at about a 10 or 15% in our population at any rate, if those colonies that were headed by queens with two sets of those chromosomes, of those genes, their offspring, that's all the workers, will have had one set. And a few of them will have two sets depending on which of the 16 or 18 queens the, drone, the drones the queen mated with. Now, if we'd controlled drones as well, went to an island or an isolated area and increased the number of those workers that had two sets, it might have been enough to make it go away. So watch the space. There's, uh, it, it's something that's, that I think is real, really worthwhile developing and will be easy to do in Australia. If you're looking for the gene, uh, advert, um, this is the book we've written for commercial beekeepers in New Zealand. If you hunt through there on the section of Roa, it's got the label for um, the gene. So if you run a breeding program already, or you're selecting queens, it might be worth going and looking, uh, look, get a copy and look at getting a lab to test some of your bees. It's only a wing clipping, and after queen's mated, you don't need, they don't need a wing, so that's not pro no problem. So, resistance, breeding for resistance, has a real good place, especially with modern genetics, we can do things that we couldn't do before. At the moment, it's not the complete answer, but it is a tool I think we need to have in our, in our rower control business, and, and watch that space. Um, it won't make Rogue away at the moment, but, but it's close to doing that. We may see in the future that it will do.